Hello everyone, we will continue the topic PTE and in the previous video, we understand the full, we understood the full flow in the debugging mode, an extremely important explanation. Now, for the company code DE11, this particular field is in read-only mode. Now we need to cross-check also. It should not be the case that this particular field is in read-only mode for all the company codes. So I will take a different test case. So I will go to FB02 transaction code. Now we know the exact points where we need to debug. I will do F8. Now I will go for different test case. You can go for a different test case from PKPF table. Suppose now I'm taking the company code GB10 suppose. Okay, I will check in that table. Do we have this kind of test case? Yes, I will press enter. Now you can see we have this particular BTE. It is calling PC function find. Control will go inside this function module. In this function module, we have PC function read function module. Now we know the exact point also. If I will go inside this function module, we need to go to this particular subroutine function underscore determine. Now in this particular subroutine, SAP is fetching that data from which table? TPS34 and checking our product is active or not active. If I will simply come out, if I will come out, if I will come out, now we are in our BTE <laughs> and in this internal table, we have this particular function module. Now we are calling this function module. Now I will go inside this function module. Now you can see company code is, is GB10 now. It is not DE11. It means this if condition is false itself. It means our logic will not trigger whatever the logic if we have written. Yes, function module will trigger but the logic will not trigger. If logic will not trigger, yes, it means the field will remain editable. It is non-edit. It is not, it will not become non-editable. It will be editable only. I will do F8. Now, if I will double click, the logic we already explained, I will do F8. F8. Now you can see the field is in the field is editable now. In the previous case for DE11 company code, it is non-editable. Now for this company code, it is editable. And this is some sort of project requirements itself. And we implemented using the process interface because we changed the SAP process itself. Now we will further expand this. Now suppose if customer is saying for DE11 company code, I require this field for other company code, I do not require this field. Now just see this particular function module. This is our function module in which we have written the logic. This is our function module. Now you can see we have one more internal table that is T underscore no input we filled as of now. Now we have one more internal table T underscore invisible. Invisible means it will not be there at all. Now customer is saying, okay, just make that particular column invisible if the company code is DE11. So in that case, I will simply, simply, firstly, I will do control D. Now I will write T underscore invisible. I will comment this. 
And now I will show you both the cases. For company code DE11, this field will not be there. And for other company codes, this field will be there. I'll put a breakpoint here also. Now I will do FB02. Now I will put DE11 company code first. I will do F8. Suppose I will go for a test case for DE11 company. Fiscal year 2024. Yes, our BTE, it will call PC function find. PC function find will call PC function read. I will do F7 directly. I have returned to my original BT because two times I showed you the full process in that debugging mode. We got our function module, whatever the function module is there. Now in this our function module itself, I put the breakpoint. I will do F8. Now this is our logic. Now company code is DE11. Now it will simply, simply put this field into invisible internal table. Now you can see in this invisible internal table, we have this particular column SGTX. Now I will do F8. And you can see if I will double click on any of the record, I will do F8. Now you can see text field is itself not there. Now we will go for other case also. So I will go to FB02 transaction code. I will do F8. Now I will go for other company codes. I will go for GB10. Okay, it is already open. So I will just close that. Okay. I will do F8. F8. Now you can see we have the company code other than DE11. So this whole logic will not execute. And T underscore invisible is blank. If this is blank, now you can see if I will double click on any of the record, if I will do F8, I will do F8. Now you can see that particular field is visible. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I just took another test case means rather than other than the company code DE11. And I showed you this particular column is in any table mode. After that, we simply, simply took the example now how we can make this particular column visible or invisible. In that case, in the same function module, we have a parameter T underscore invisible. So for the company code DE11, we filled this internal table and for other company code, this internal table will be blank. And I showed you in that debugging mode, yes, for company code DE11, this internal table field and this column is invisible. And for other company code, this particular column is visible. Now in the next video, I will make the product deactive. And I will show you that this function model will not trigger at all. And that is the best practice we sometimes follow in the project also. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.